faint male today, the bane of our existence, including God lover GDK. But we finally got our two maxes, and I will show you what is in the box or the case. So here we have the case, and it also comes with this uh, charger with one of these, a bad charger. Always great to have a backup. Let's see. There we go. So decent. Looks wide enough for 18, but I doubt anything bigger than that. So inside the case, we have instructions in English. Tells you what's in it. User settings. Da -da -da -da. Okay. All that good stuff. In the directions. Also comes with an eighteen six fifty two twenty twenty two hundred ma three point six volts. Interesting. And 18350, 900 ma, 3.7 volts. This also comes with a open this. completely crazily wrapped CE something rather. I think it said four. Top coil. I'm pretty sure it said four. Yep, yeah, it's four. So, you know, in a pinch. It has a inspection certificate. And yeah. So, here it is. It's very pretty. However, it weighs a ton. It's very heavy. <laughs> And I have man hands, and that's big. There's a the ammo in the uh, 18650, 18350 mode. I'm just going to grab my MVP. It is wider. It's not thicker, but it's a bit taller and quite a bit wider. So it's pretty hefty in your hand. And it weighs a lot. <laughs> okay, so T Max engraved on the top. Quite a deep. Um, well, we've got ego threading. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's put some batteries in it. Now, people were complaining about these battery covers, but if you, I, I find them pretty easy. No, once you have the batteries in them, but. So, two bays, one for 18350 and one for 18650. Two caps. Depending on which battery you're using, you will use either the cap at the spring or the cap at the foam. Let's put some batteries in it. I don't even know if these are charged, but we'll see in a minute. So I'm going to use the 18650, so I'll put the foam one in the 18350 bay. And 
and I've cross-threaded it. Did I say the caps were easy? They are when they have no batteries in them. Okay, I get it now. <laughs> okay. Alright. So now 18, 650 in there. Yeah, I get it. I get what you're complaining about now. Okay, got it. You just have to. Wow, okay, now it's even heavier. But it says Sigali. Now, I don't even know if this thing is going to fire. Because I'm not familiar with the Sigali menu. So that's just apparently to tell you the batteries in there. It makes no sense. So five clicks. System on. Mine is set for 8.5 watts. So, um, menu system, three clicks, you can go through them. Power up, power down, battery voltage, LCD display, LCD on off power voltage, and of course the RMS or mean. Um, I don't exactly know. I can't explain the difference between mean and, and RMS, but all you need to know is leave it at RMS. It's the most accurate readings. So um, it's very solid. It's aluminum. It's a pretty color. They come in a, like a lot of different colors. That rattle is this button. It's kind of a... Like I'm not even firing it. I'm, it's making noise. Fire. But it looks pretty with my... my glass strip tip. But yeah, heavy. Um, the caps a little get takes a little getting used to. It pretty much does everything the Sigali Z Max or Bobo or any of the Sigali things. It's got the same chip in it. Um, when your 18650 battery dies all you do is swap the caps and basically you have an 18 uh, 350 as a backup so you just swap that yeah it's not as simple as it sounds I think once you get used to it though you'll be able to do it on the fly perhaps not me Try this one first. Uh, in theory. <laughs> in theory. That one went in. So if you have it, if this is variable voltage or variable wattage. If you have it set for wattage, your settings will remain as you're going through this difficult uh, putting in the battery on the battery caps. And switching the batteries uh, but however if you're in variable voltage you have to go and do it Sigali system on there you go see keeps my wattage um, so like I said if you if you have it in vo voltage then it's not going to do that for you but how does it vape? It vapes as well as anything you're going to put on here. 
this is just the battery and and power regulation um, but it, it's it's going to hit as well as your setup so pretty good and it's pretty but oh my god it's big even in my man hands it's big big so they do say not everything is going to fit on here and I'm not sure what they mean but let's just try EVOD I think this won't fire because it's a, I rebuilt it and it's under but it does make connection uh, it's a I think it's a under one ohm I, I rewired it to there's a uh, T3 not making connection. So when you see something that says 9.9 .9 ohm, that means it's not making the connection. See, if you've got nothing on it, it says 9.9. .9. So T3, that T3 didn't work. This one is a same thing. So T3 is not so much. This is a, a CE5, I think. Crackle in a way. Um, this is the what comes with it. I think it's like 4 ohms or something crazy like that. 3.6. Um, I'm just wondering, will it work? If the T3s work if I put an adapter on it. And it does. So for whatever reason, I have to use an adapter for the T3s. Um, anybody has a theory? <laughs> they can let me know. It's a small one. Yep, there she glows. So not everything's going to work on it, but everything will work. If you grab an adapter, I have no idea why, but I have like five of these things because it's just how I roll. I like how this sits. Anything with a 510 sits nice and snug. It's a tiny bit of airflow, but it's good. Isn't that pretty? So like I said, it's going to vape as well as, you know, as well as your setup. Um, not something I would take out of the house, which defeats the purpose of having the backup battery because all my backup batteries are, um, to be fair, the, the first model that we actually started the co-op with was smaller. It had just an 18 350 battery, one port in the bottom, but uh, people complain it should have an 18650. So instead of just, I don't know, I guess they had to extend it further up and make it wider. God, I wish they hadn't done that. But it's big, it's hefty, 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 hefty. <laughs> but I mean, it is what it is. Do I wish it was smaller? Yes. Uh, do I wish it didn't weigh a ton? Yes. And I'm scared to put this, leave this alone with my glass drip tip because if this falls over, it's falling over with a crash. So, but uh, that's the T Max. If you got really big hands and Giver. <laughs> um, I think we paid 56 bucks in a co-op. Um, 
but you can get the body for about the same price uh, at a couple of different places. Um, check over at uh, VaporJoes.com. It will probably tell you where you can get them the cheapest. I'm <laughs> sorry.